Hello everybody and welcome to my afterthoughts video, this time regarding the movie Creed number two. And again, I have to say it was a positive surprise because the movie was again better than expected. And although I think that the Rocky movies are better than the Creed movies, I still I would say Creed is not that far behind. I mean, I really enjoyed watching it and I had a great time. Now, Creed 2 reminded me a lot of the storyline in uh, Rocky 3 and Rocky 4, kind of like a combination, you know, because in Rocky 4, we have an American fighting a Russian, you know, and uh, so we had Rocky fighting Ivan Drago, and then we had Adonis um, fighting Victor Drago, and both of those fights took place in Russia, so there are some, some uh, similarities there. And then, of course, in Rocky 3 and uh, Creed 2, both fighters suffered a devastating loss and then had to regroup for the rematch. So, so uh, more parallels right there. Rocky lost against um, Club Lang and Adonis lost against Victor Drago. And in Rocky 3, we had Apollo taking Rocky to California to train him in a new way to get him ready for the rematch. And in Creed 2, we had Rocky taking Adonis to the desert to train him in a new way to prepare him for the rematch. So a lot of parallels. Now, what I really liked about Creed 2 is that they brought back the Drago family, you know? I mean, Ivan Drago came back and it was very nice to see him. And it was, I think it was very clever, a clever storyline because we already know that character. We don't have to establish too much about him because we already know the history between him and the other characters. So I thought that was, that was very well done. And honestly, I actually wanted to see more scenes between Ivan Drago and Rocky because those two characters are so iconic, you know. I could probably watch an entire movie, maybe a comedy, with Rocky and Ivan Drago, you know, just hanging out and maybe becoming friends. That would be fantastic. Maybe I have to write that one, you know. Um, also, I thought the most touching scenes in Creed 2 were the scenes between Ivan Drago and his son Victor. I mean, that was fantastic, especially towards the end of the big fight, you know. I mean, Victor, he got beaten up so badly, you know, and, and he kept getting up. He wanted to please his father so badly, you know. He wanted to, to be the winner for him, you know. So he got up again and got knocked down again he got up again really showed a huge heart and i also appreciated that that we see an opponent who has just as a big heart as rocky and he just keeps getting up you know and i have to say i never felt sorry for an opponent from rocky one to creed two until now you know I never felt sorry for the opponents when they got beaten up. Maybe a little bit for Apollo, yeah, because he was a great guy too. But oh boy, did I feel sorry for Victor Drago, man. And that shows smart writing, you know, that we care about character like that. And then seeing um, Ivan Drago's face when he realized what he is putting his own son through, you know, that was, that was just heartbreaking. And then finally we had the moment when Ivan Drago throws in the towel. That was a fantastic moment. Very heartwarming to see that he deep inside really does care about his son, you know. Um, that was one of the most touching moments in that movie. I really liked it a lot. So that, that, was, that was great. And then I found out that there was a, a deleted scene. And, you know, sometimes I really wish I would have two, three days to just research the movie and find all the deleted scenes and talk about it, but I don't have that kind of time. But I did come across that scene that happens right after the fight in the locker room. And all the characters meet there, or many of the characters meet there, and relationships get fixed and healed, you know? And, and 
that scene was missing from the movie. And, and well, let me show you that scene. I, I liked it so much and I thought it was such a powerful scene. There's not a lot of dialogue, you know, but really powerful moments. So let me, let me play that right now and then I get back to you. Yeah, Duke. I'll catch up with you in a second. Alright, I'll be out here. All right, so there it is, a very, very powerful scene. And I really think it was a mistake to cut this scene. And I know how much politics goes into stuff like that. You know, it's not easy to just cut a scene. There's a lot of thought behind it. You have to consider the length of the movie and the theme and does it really help the movie? And are those moments um, necessary? And uh, and that you know you have to consider the dynamics of the characters and so on and so on and ultimately of course it's the director's choice to include uh, a scene or not unless the studio steps in you know but i read that the director himself had a really really hard time to make that decision to cut it out you know and i also read that um sylvester stallone was not happy about learning that that scene was gone and i have to agree as I usually do with Stallone, that scene should have been included because it's just so powerful. Because if you think about how many relationships get, get fixed right there in this moment, you know, first you have um, Adonis sitting down next to Victor and he tells him that, look, I know how it feels, but we are more than just one fight, you know, and Victor looks at him and, and that was a special moment because it was kind of like a healing moment, you know. And then Ivan Drago walks in and, they ha and he has a moment with Adonis. And you have to consider the history, you know. I mean, Ivan killed Adonis' father, you know. And finally they stand there face to face and look at each other. And you could tell, even though no words were exchanged, that they looked at them, uh, you know, at each other and they saw the history and they both decided to just let it go, you know, and move on. 
So that, that was very powerful too. And then Adonis leaves and Rocky walks by. And then there is this moment between Rocky and Ivan Drago. And that was probably one of my favorite moments because you could see the history in their faces, you know, and Ivan just nodded a little bit, kind of indicating, yeah, there was a lot of stuff between us, but you know what, let, let's let it go, you know. And, and move on and, and, and Rocky clearly agreed and, and it kind of healed that relationship too. So that was very, very powerful moment. And then Ivan sits down next to his son and, and puts his hand around his neck, you know, kind of indicating that, you know what, I'm proud of you. You did a fantastic job. It's all good. I love you. And all that was in that one scene almost without words, you know, because it was great acting and very powerful. So I think this should have been included. So at least we were able to see it now here in my Afterthoughts video. And then of course it continued, you know, because the theme of family and fixing relationships <laughs> continued because we saw Adonis visiting the first time, I assume, um, his late father's grave and he stood there and pretty much declared that he is now his own man. And I have to say that speech could have been a little bit more powerful. I'm pretty sure that Stallone did not write that particular scene because I think Stallone would have written that scene a little bit deeper and more profound, but you know, it still worked. And then Rocky himself, of course, goes to Vancouver and finally visits his son and meets his grandson. And that was a, a very, a very touching moment, especially when the son said, you want to come in? And it took Stallone a few seconds to gather himself and he teared up and, and nodded. Yes, he wants to come in and they hugged. Beautiful, beautiful, really amazing moments. Amazing moments. I really loved those, those scenes, you know. And then, um, of course, the movie had some more endearing moments. For example, when, when Adonis, <laughs> Adonis asks Rocky what he should say when he proposes to Bianca, you know, that was a, a fun scene. And we also had some Rocky wisdom when he tells Adonis, you know, about his baby who uh, doesn't have, you know, lost a hearing or never had any hearing. He said, you know what? She doesn't feel sorry for herself and neither should you just love her and that's it you know so that was also a very nice moment and then um we had this um line of rocky right after the fight was finished he fist bumps adonis and says it's your time now and to me that was such a big indicator that now the rocky saga has come to an end that's how i felt in that moment he passes on the torch to adonis and as we know, Rocky is not in Creed 3. I don't know exactly what kind of politics was going on and who had creative control or who did not agree with the creative direction of the film. I don't know. All I know is Rocky is not in it and, and therefore I would probably never have watched Creed 3 because of that. But the poll seems to indicate that the majority of our audience wants us to watch it and I'm more than happy to watch it. Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to that and see what they do with Creed 3. And that's when I see you guys the next time when I do the Afterthoughts video for Creed 3. Okay. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.